Hey guys and welcome to Tutorial Grid. Now in this tutorial we're actually going to be revisiting a bump map tutorial that I forgot to finish. Uh, basically it's a bump map tutorial for uh, 2D objects without actually integrating like element 3D or anything like that. It's kind of a little bit easier to uh, render out. It's not as uh, GPU uh, intensive. But basically what this looks like is you have your camera and you have a 2D layer and it turns into this kind of 3D with a specular map on top of it and uh, we'll put in some glowing text but this is kind of what it looks like also make sure to go to our facebook page at facebook.com slash tutorial grid as well as check us out on twitter at twitter.com slash tutorial grid like us and uh, subscribe to our youtube but let's go ahead and dive right into this after effects tutorial all right, now first what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to composition, new composition. Uh, on this, you can set it up however you want to. You can do a 1920 by 1080. Uh, I'm just gonna do 720 just for this tutorial because it's just a little bit faster to render. So it's gonna be 1280 by 720, 23.976, and hit okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out, I already have my project file open. It's just this little piece of concrete we're gonna drag down. Uh, you can have any type of file you want that you wanna create a bump map for. Uh, it's a little bit easier if it's uh, just like a solid flat image, uh, something like this. It's pretty, uh, you know, pretty easy. Uh, but here we go. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select our 3D layer here So we'll go ahead and hit that that automatically makes this into a 3D object where you can move it back and forth and whatnot And uh, it'll be able to integrate with a camera and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type in threshold So it'll be threshold now it's 32 bit so go ahead and bring this down and we'll bring that onto our layer now it brings up this really kind of odd looking pale white and black looking image um, we're going to change some of these settings let's so go ahead and bring down the settings to where you're gonna see some of these black levels notice the black levels in here uh, in the original image let me go ahead and duplicate this so I can show you the original image on top of here actually what you're gonna to want to do also is duplicate this image and delete the threshold layer that way you have a regular image on top of that to uh, play with so, um, but it's just kind of different. You can kind of see those black levels come from underneath, uh, but we're gonna try to get as little of those as possible because we want this to really uh, focus on the shadows. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Gaussian Blur. So type in Gaussian Blur. Uh, you go take that and you'll bring that over on top of our threshold layer. And you kind of zoom in a little bit. Uh, so we have our threshold at 69 and our Gaussian blur just kind of push up just a little bit. Uh, just, uh, you don't want it too harsh of an edge. Just kind of bring that up a little bit to where it just softens out this kind of shadowy kind of look. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit mode down here on our threshold layer. So we have our original layer that we duplicated from our threshold because this is actually what we should have done in the first place but it was easy just to duplicate that and take off the threshold but we have our regular layer and our threshold layer so what we're going to do is we're going to go to mode normal and we're going to select multiply now multiply is going to add those black levels right on top of our composition and it's going to just kind of give us a little bit more depth so whenever we add lights it'll react to our lights so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit P. It's going to bring up our position and we're going to change the position of the Z level. So we have our X, our Y level, and then our Z. So just kind of move this up to about maybe, let's say three. And just going to move it very slightly, very slightly above this map. That way it kind of has this little to this texture to it. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Control D on our threshold layer again pull this back up on our mode to normal we're gonna go ahead and uh, take off our Gaussian blur and now we're gonna bump up our threshold to where we have our spec map so we're gonna look at our specular map uh, and you can kinda play around with the look of this I usually on my spec maps I like to kinda keep it fairly clean some of these, this texture, so we have some of this uh, more grayish texture like in our original image, and then we have our white texture. 
So we're gonna go ahead and keep that a little bit clean. Turn our Gaussian layer back on. And maybe lower the Gaussian a little bit to maybe about a 2.4. That's looking pretty good. And we're going to set this mode to soft light. Now that brings that right back on top of it. So you can see whenever our soft light, it just puts all of those levels right back on top. So we have our um, we have our dark levels in through here, and then we have our light levels on top of that. Now that already starts to look a little bit 3D. So you can see whenever we turn these levels on and off, they have more of this textured look. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to Layer, New, Light. We're gonna turn on a light source. Just uh, You can do any color, I'm just gonna show you with white. But now you have this light that reacts to all of the textures that you have in your 2D bump map. Looks pretty cool. <clears throat> all right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go hit Layer again, New, Camera and hit OK. Uh, one thing that I like to do is I like to change the uh, camera options of the camera and I have it fairly set up to a high zoom. I want to turn down my zoom level to maybe about 400 and I'm going to zoom my camera in. That way it has this really neat film effect. Notice how the, the the center is coming in before the edges. It kind of gives you just that added three-dimensional look that can come from your camera works. And now, whenever we uh, we change our camera mode to a, a unified camera, you can see this this really neat, bumpy material that you're able to create directly inside of After Effects without a 3D program and you can kind of really just mess around with this and how look how it reacts to all the uh, the different lights. All right, now uh, on the, the first video, uh, it shows that I had some glowing text and I also show how to make that as well. So go to hit your text tool and type right in the, the front, oh, tutorial grid. Just go ahead and write that right up in the front and what we're going to do is we're going to size this up. Move that over. After that, we're going to go to Layer, Precompose, remove all attributes into New Composition, and hit OK. And now, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead again and hit our 3D tool, and that'll pop that over into 3D, make it three dimensional and we'll kind of move and we'll have to move this up since uh, that's going directly on top of our uh, our layer over here so we'll just move this kind of slightly above it so we've got that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this again and we'll just go ahead and duplicate it and we are going to go hit P and change our Z position and we're gonna push it forward meaning we're gonna push it backward into Z space so we'll push it backward just a little bit. We'll also pull over our Gaussian blur layer or effect and put that right on top of it and blur it out just a smidgen to where we have this kind of glowy, glowy kind of look. And we'll go to mode and then add. So now we have this kind of glowy additive directly on top of there. Um, so our Gaussian blur is at 4.9. And then we have our added layer on the uh, the bottom. And we will also go ahead and duplicate the Gaussian blur layer again. And then one more time. And then we'll blow out our Gaussian blur one more time. Make it really kind of three-dimensional here. And maybe a little more. A little more. About, about 16 duplicate it one more time and then on top of this where it says normal go ahead and hit add on our first layer so we're gonna hit our first layer of the uh, tutorial grid and we'll do that and we should be having some glowing cool text and now whenever you push our unified camera you've got that 
in 3D. Now another thing you can do is you can add another light source. So go to layer, new light. Let's uh, try to match the color of the light here on the bottom of our tutorial grid and hit OK. And point lighting, uh, we're going to turn this lighting down to about, uh, say, 50%. Hit OK. And we're going to hit P on our light source. And then we will bring this forward. And we're going to put this right behind our text. So we'll just kind of move this down. So we moved it down through the Z level. So it was at negative. Now we're going to move it to positive, about 21.4. And we'll kind of put this right behind the, the, the R on the grid. We'll also duplicate that light one more time. And now we will move it over to, oops. We'll move it over to the other side, over by the, let's do by the T. And let's duplicate it one more time and move it right in the center where the R is. Move it right. Why can't I grab the Z? X, X, there you go. We'll put it right down underneath. Uh, this is a little blown out right here, so let's go ahead and let's duplicate our tutorial grid, the top layer again. Let's duplicate that one more time, and let's set that down to maybe... We'll just keep that... Uh, yeah, we'll just turn that on. We'll just, keep, we'll just keep the top layer on the normal, and then we'll turn that the bottom layer back to add. And that'll kind of bring out those those colors. And then whenever we move our camera around, you can really kind of see this glowing, glowing text. And you can see it light up the background of this solid, uh, this 2D image. And that is going directly in real time. And it's very fast to render. Ta-da! And you have 3D bump map on glowing text all right but this is Cherokee I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please comment below as well as uh, subscribe to the videos this video has been up for a while uh, I had to revisit it because the audio apparently blew out so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'm glad I finally got to it uh, make sure to subscribe again to us on YouTube and check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash tutorial grid as well as on our Twitter and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial